Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are outside again. I'm hoping to do some improvement on my data center air intake filtering system that I started a few weeks ago. So, but first I have something special over here that I want to show you. I'm not sure if I can get in there and show you, but I'm going to give it a try. There is a nest in there and there is tiny little birdies. They're really ugly right now. Uh, but they are waiting for their for their food delivery. I was sitting here on the lawn together with a friend and mama birdies uh, kept coming up on this branch over here and looking very disappointing at us look, sitting at the lawn because we were not supposed to see her flying down there to the to the small hatchlings and uh, I guess that well it was so suspicious that I had to go and look for them so uh, yeah they're, they're in that tiny little hinge that I really should remove but now I'm definitely not gonna do that while she's there so yeah I bragged in one of my previous videos I bragged about my cucumber I have gotten three big cucumbers and now it has stopped producing and I don't know why it has stopped making cucumbers for me I am not that knowledgeable about that so uh, yeah let's go see where we're actually gonna be uh, improving today so over here is the air intake that I did <laughs> the wood for it and two filters and uh, yeah I think I'm just gonna take that out today and clean it up inside I didn't clean it inside and I think we're gonna paint it as well I think I have some paint somewhere it doesn't have to be pretty paint but it just have to be whitish so let's do that yeah this is the ugly side of the house so where I have all the, the stupid things to think that ain't too pretty and the frame is just put in here it isn't fastened in any way so it should also just come out and it does so I can take all of this out and clean it up and uh, paint the frame and put it back in I was hoping to do that. This is my old filtering thing that I made out of vacuum cleaner filters and it, it fits on top of the of the air intake and it will filter the air but it reduces the airflow so much that a new filtering solution was in need. And this was an old experience. You can go back and see the videos. This was a water cooling the air intake and it's full of leaves now but uh, the idea was to have these there's three coolers on here and pump water through them and then uh, blow the air through them and uh, again it worked but it reduced the air intake so much that it didn't work so uh, the air coming in was cooler but the amount of air that came in was less so pulling more air in was better than cooling the air more pipes we might just stuff them back in there when I've cleaned it so it's ever so slightly dirty in here especially on the floor there's a lot of stuff that needs to go out so I think I'll um, I'll get the big air blower vacuum thing and I'll blow and suck this good and uh, while I do that I'll put the filter on it shouldn't take that long there we are you can hear the sound changed and here comes the big Ryopi air blower so let's Suck that in to start with. I 
I'll get some of this with a small broom as well. So, just a small broom, getting off some of the loose stuff here. And the spider whips up here. There's some nasty stuff in there. But I have some water too, so let's just rinse it down the wall here. Get some more of that stuff now. Here she is, and she has the food for the little ones, and I make annoying because I'm standing where she knows that I can see where she lands. So the soccer blower over there was one by OB tool, and we are moving on to the next one. Um, when you have uh, tools like this that uses batteries, I have five batteries for my Ryobi tools and I picked this one. And this is one of the smaller batteries, but it's very important to use the batteries, have a rotation on them so that they get used, that they get charged up. That makes them last longer. If you have them sitting for too long, especially if they're not charged up, well, they won't last very long. The batteries inside will get out of balance and the electronics inside will just shut them down because they are too much out of balance. So uh, use them and uh, charge them up. So we're going to be sanding this a little bit, just a little bit. It's it's not that important. So uh, yeah, just to have some, just to scratch it up so the paint can sit. <laughs> I fully expected to run out of battery while sanding this because this is one of the smallest batteries that I have 1.4 amp hours but it lasted the entire way I was uh, planning on how I could film and tell you some more about uh, using your batteries this one is from 2012 week number 38 so um, this one is closing up on nine years old so uh, yeah it has done a good job already so I'm gonna paint this and it doesn't have to be an art piece, it just has to be done. So I'm choosing a very big brush so I can get it done really quickly. And I have some paint here. This is meant for, it's white and it's from, for kitchen and bath. And this is paint that I bought for my uh, upstairs bathroom project for painting the ceiling up there. But I don't think we're gonna be using very much of it so we can just steal a little bit of it here for this tiny project. Uh, it has glance 25, which means that it's washable. You can, uh, you can wash it down with a cloth. You can wash it and it will be fine. That's good. And the big brush and let's just get painting. Uh, yeah, it should be done in no time. And as always that took way longer than expected and I've only done three of the four sides so I will have to wait a little bit turn it around and then the, do the last side which it is sitting on. I don't think I'm gonna give it twice because uh, yeah no one is really gonna see it except you of course you but um, this is camera it might be HD but well you can't see all the errors anyway <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna wait 15 minutes, turn it around, and paint the other side. We are sleeping in here. I think there are three. So I'm done painting. 
uh, I had forgotten that piece and I've also painted the piece of cardboard that I put on top just because I'm gonna put it back in so yeah I'm gonna try and fit this back in and uh, it will look great I'm sure so as they say the grass is always wider on the other side uh, yeah I have the frame in the, the piece of cardboard has warped I am um, that's irritating but I'm not gonna do anything about it I am though I'm gonna use some of this this is acrylic fumette I don't know how fumette is in English but oh well, you know something to uh, to seal up the uh, the around it and it's also going to keep that frame in in place so yeah that will be great it's not going to be great but it's going to do a better job than it is right now so big blotchy air filter here I used every last drop of this acrylic uh, full mess and uh, I, I managed to get it all the way around so um, well I didn't take the I didn't give the top but otherwise I gave it all the way around and it seals and it's gonna take some time to harden up this is fairly quick to harden up and if I ever want to pull this out again it's not that difficult to, to take out again not like it's not like silicone it's it's easier to and and this thing will give up uh, so that, that's not gonna be that bad so this is how it looks right now I'm gonna clean up the stuff that was in here and oh that stuff I'm gonna brush it off and I'm gonna stuff it back in there because just want it out of sight you know and so all my old crap has been washed off and put back in the corner here I should probably just throw some of it out but I will postpone that decision to another day so yeah we're gonna put the filters back on and it's gonna be nice and white and at some point I need to replace that piece of cardboard up there but I didn't find anything better at the moment so <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're gonna do that so another weird video from me where I mess around with the data center the cooling of the data center which has been a real issue here these days where we have had temperatures up to I have measured 31 degrees here that's the highest I've ever measured here at my playhouse outside in the shade so 31 degrees yeah all the Vikings are melting. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Someone needs a bath. Bye-bye. <laughs>